Yo, yo, it's K Foundation. It's a deal. All right, so let's move with it. Together, brothers, but tonight it's about the timeline, timeline coming out. Europe, February the 8th, US, February the 12th. Go cop that. What up, everybody? K the Foundation. Welcome to the somewhat documentary of the making of the timeline album by Nicolay and myself. We're going in and we're going to really talk about what the album is about as far as musically, the directions that we're going. We're going to talk about subject matter um, and all the time we put into it and really the life cycle of the album. So um, that's what we're going to focus on today. We're just going to focus on the music and the message behind the music and just make sure that we communicate it to you, the listener, well. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back into the sessions, do my thing, be right back. Peace. start on the first song by the way this is the album the albums called timeline my girl Tico on the cover resident of London England beautiful shot uh, Frankie from FWM day rappers I know designed the cover what's up player player and I got the first track Nicolay sent it to me it felt like some, I would say like white stacks or just some old 60s psychedelic sound. And it really, that that track right there really sparked the whole concept of going with a timeline because um, the tracks that he was sending me, he touched on uh, many different eras in music, which is, to me, I appreciate music greatly. And, and it just to have a producer that's that versatile to be able to go back and, and give you the sound of like, you know, psych rock to 70s soul to 80s, you know, pop punk rock, you know, it's, it's, it's a thrill to do. So, I mean, the, the song is really in essence, it's just introducing the album, introducing the timeline. It's also a festive song, you know, if you listen to it, probably think about the Blues Brothers. Content wise it's just a party track. Just, you know, enjoying it. I mean, we're here, basically. It's a start to just introduce us. You guys know Nicolay from probably the Foreign Exchange, but really to introduce me as well, and us as you. We hope you enjoy the song. And, you know, if you have a chance, you know, hit us up with any feedback on how you feel about it, you know, so I can grow as a writer, as an artist. I like feedback. Feel the See, we're sitting at the Fender Roads. I don't have it hooked up, but I love it. I can't play, but I've had friends come over and just do damage. Luke Austin, Robert Glasper, just a whole host. Pookie, Foundation, of course. I am a 70s baby. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I'm a baby of the 70s. I was born in Michigan, moved to Texas. You probably heard the story, my story on Nicolay's Here I Was. But the next song, you know, we talked about themes, and themes we, we went from the 60s and now we're kind of in the 70s sound. You can kind of hear, you know, like the falsetto that my man Toby Hill from Soul Food um, in the chorus. Um, he killed it, I appreciate it, Toby. Um, giving it the feel of when I was born, when I was a kid, you know, and just making sure that the song Hit the air of, you know, when I was born in the and, and, you know, what my dad was listening to when he was rolling in his 70 something deuce in the quarter. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, as far as subject matter, once again, it's a really more of an introduction of me. Blizzard is actually the 
the beginning, the really actual beginning of the time, you know, from my birth to where we're gonna get to later. You know, check the elements of the song. Uh, love the strings that Nick put in there, and, and it, it, you know, it's real. I love the way he produces. It's just, it's clean. Everything is so deliberate. You know, everything has its place, um, and he really focuses on that immensely. And um, I've learned a lot from Nick Lay in that, in that sense. Another day, uh, we back on the timeline. Um, the next song we gonna deal with is the lights. The lights uh, feature Strange Fruit Project, um, Nicole Hurst, um, Luke's on the keys from Foundation, and my man Chase um, on the vibes. Uh, this song really, from a production standpoint. I would say just listening to it and what Nick said is real lush. I would say the time era, if you heard it, it would, it would sound like probably late 60s to uh, up to mid 70s. That's the feel that I get from it. Um, put some elements of Moog in it, um, mixed in with like the what he played here. Another thing that we did here, which is very interesting, if you guys look at my room, it's not really that big, but Chase actually brought his vibraphones here, mic'd them stereo, and um, that's him going off in the background. I love the solo. You won't hear it on the album. It's only here, in the Nick's crib. Uh, and the song is really dealing with the lights, and the lights being the shine you get as an MC. Um, all the struggles that you have, you know, when the lights dim, the everything that you've been through, you would still do it again. That's how I mean. I played football, and you know, they said, you know, once you wear the pads for the last time and you put them down, all the the hard work and effort that you put into playing, the lifting, all the struggles and the pain and the games and all that stuff, you miss the camaraderie. You miss all of that stuff, and I, I really feel that in music it's the same way. I mean, when you get to the point to where you put the pen down, can you look back on what you did and be proud of it? And and also, you know, just appreciating what you're doing, even if you're not really getting any money from it. I'll be honest with you, I ain't really getting that much, though. Not at all. But, you know, I can't stop doing this because I love the music. So, um... That's pretty much the lights. Thank you for everybody that was on it. By the way, I didn't spit on the song because it just didn't feel right for me to be on there. I really like the verses that uh, I shot S1 and met the verses. They laid the verses down. And, you know, initially what you hear me say on there was a verse, but I just said it because I just really pe wanted people to understand what I say and I didn't want cadence to get away in the way of the message. So. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy the song. Peace. Yeah. Some rollers. What's up, y'all? This is some of my records. I get blinded by the lights. I keep quite a few in the door. Not as much as my man DJ Sykes there for us. Shout yeah. together. You know. No. It's blinded by the lights Interesting Light for the party And he's shining so bright Swear it's so nice Even electric. on the rise Coincide with his music on the rise Top of them short sound scan I just rap now but I think the, the really the important thing about understanding like different genres of music um, actually, like say this album right here I would say just the sound of this album right here probably had some some sort of influence on, on uh, the lights I love Herbie Hancock I love Butterfly that's a damn nice song. 